Hello, welcome to Point of View. Today, I like to talk about the U.S. Secretary of State's Mike Pompeo and his provocative international rhetoric and his influence over President Donald Trump. The triple danger alarm bell is on. As U.S. Secretary of State's, he represents the United States. What he does internationally has enormous repercussion worldwide. The delicate geopolitical situation is being threatened. Soon may trigger the doomsday clock. The doomsday clock is a symbol that represents the likelihood of a man-made global catastrophe, maintained since 1947 by the members of the Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists. The clock is a metaphor for threats to humanity from unchecked scientific and technical advances. On January 23, 2020, it was moved forward to 100 seconds, one minute 40 seconds, before midnight. Based on the increased threats to global stability posed by a nuclear blunder, exacerbated by the rate of climate change, Mike Pompeo is the most dangerous man in the world right now. The Soleimani assassination and its aftermath suggest that America's top diplomat is really the viceroy of its national security establishment. How Mike Pompeo brusque diplomacy fails to win friends. Pompeo's rhetoric is aimed at American public, promoting Donald Trump's policies, not building relations with foreign nations or advancing U.S. interests abroad. In a globalized society, the effects foreign policy decisions have on our security, economy, and place in the world cannot be understated. In 2019, Secretary Pompeo announced the formation of a Commission on Unalienable Rights, stating. The time is right for an informed review of the role of human rights in American foreign policy. The commission, chaired by Harvard Law Professor Mary Ann Glendon, a well-known human rights scholar, will be releasing its report in 2020. America's defense budget is bigger than you think. Each year, Congress approves hundreds of billions of dollars for the U.S. defense budget, but the real number exceeds one trillion dollars. There are at least ten separate pots of money. Dedicated to fighting wars, preparing for yet more wars, and dealing with the consequences of wars already fought. So the next time a president, a general, a secretary of defense, or a hawkish member of Congress insists that the U.S. military is woefully underfunded, think twice. A careful look at U.S. defense expenditures offers a healthy corrective to such wildly inaccurate claims. The warning signs are already here. Any one of these events may trigger the doomsday clock countdown. One, U.S. foreign policy under Secretary Mike Pompeo. Two, military buildup and increase in defense budget. Three, climate change and global warming denial. Four, cyber warfare, customization and aggression. Five, trade war with no compromise. Six, social media as a weapon. Seven, COVID-19 pandemic not eradicated. Eight, election year, the loser of the election creates civil unrest. Starting with one event or several compounded events at the same time would certainly start the domino fall and the ticking of the doomsday clock. When a politician finally slid as far down and under as he can go in status and opportunity, he will make desperate, radical choices in order to get to where he thinks he should be. This is a timely video to warn those people who do not know the current fragile geopolitical situation. I feel I must, at the least, do my part as a citizen of the world and ring the alarm bell for more attention to the danger, danger, danger. Thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my videos, and that will encourage me to do more videos you like. Bye.